iostudy.net. Hello, everyone. This is Danielle again, and today we're going to learn about English grammar. The topic is may and might. So we have the mind map here to teach you when to use this in a sentence and some examples of sentences. So first we have similarities between them and differences. Let's look at the similarities between the two. First, we use them both to say that something is a possibility and we use them both to talk about possible actions or happenings in the future. So to say something is a possibility, it may or might be true. So you can say both. And she may or might know my mother. So you pick one. Both of them work. To talk about possible actions or happenings in the future. I haven't decided where to go. I may or might go to Ho Chi Minh City. And option number two, take the umbrella with you. It may or might rain. So as you can see in all of these sentences, may or might works in them both. So these are similarities. Now let's go over to this side and talk about the differences. So first, let's focus on might. We use might when a situation is not real. For example, if I were in Tom's position, I might look for another job. And if she had more money, she might buy many high heels and bags. So both, in both of these situations, the situation is not real. Okay, now let's go on to may. May is more usual when you offer help. So, for example, may I close the window for you? It's very cold outside. And number two, may I help you? So in both of these situations, you're offering for help. We use may. Okay, so now we have your complete mind map here. Go ahead and come back to this for your reference later on. And next we move to the outline. So the outline of may and might. You can scroll through this to find a situation to consider, further explanations, and examples of sentences. So you read through this before you take the test. And once you take the test, you are going to test your knowledge of how to use may and might and how to differentiate them in a sentence. So thanks for joining me in this video where we learned about the grammar rules for may and might. In the next video, we will take the test together. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.